911 systems here. I'm going to try to do a, a quick like two minute unboxing. So you can see the SA951 here is sitting on top. Um, these are now shipping. These are available through our website. It's a tone decoder and station alert controller all in one. So if you order just the controller, uh, maybe you're going to connect this to a, uh, um, a scanner or you're going to connect it to your existing radio through the radio port then you would get just the controller. We do have another version that comes with the VHF radio. It comes with the radio there, and that would interface in using a serial cable similar to this guy here, but connect your radio into your <clears throat> SA951. So let's get to the unboxing. If you pop this open, you'll see you have some getting started tutorial videos instructions on how to interface your unication pager relay and then the programming sheet <clears throat> if you order this from us we will program it for you before we ship it you can program it yourself anything in yellow is stuff that has programming data that's important to your operation so like your outputs or whatnot uh, shows you which lights should plug in the where shows you the times and then it'll show you what outputs activate for different things. So you can see like EMS gets the blue light, fire and chief and drones get the red light, and then the county wide alert makes the red and the blue light flash. These are your audio files that will play. We put this on the list as well. And if you're not sure what the audio are, you flip over to the back side, and this is a list of all the audio files that are on the audio card. You get a pager interface cable if you're going to interface a pager into this. <clears throat> you have the small stuff first. So in this bag here, you're going to have USB flash drive and a USB cable. This has all your programming data, uh, audio backup. It's also going to have um, an Excel spreadsheet with this programming data. So you can make changes. It's going to have your um, owner's manual and the software and drivers to program it on your computer. So you also get the mounting brackets, which are these, in case you're wondering, little mounting tabs. And of course, these are never as short as I say they're going to be. And you get two audio cables. You get a stereo to stereo, and you get a stereo to RCA for hooking to your PA system. <clears throat> and the other bag here is your power supply. It's a 12 volt, 5 amp power supply. Standard issue. You can see. Nothing special there. And then you have the SA951 controller will be in this. With your configurable outputs on the one side. These are removable, so you can easily screw your wires in and then plug back in. And on the other side, you have your radio input, your audio input. If you're using a scanner or a radio without an interface port, you can connect an accessory page or weather radio, stuff like that. Um, a secondary radio um, or active 911 interface into this as well. And then here for your PA output, uh, this is the cable that would connect from here and plug into your speaker system. Then you have your inputs, your monitor switch, some more inputs, and your PA um, switch if you need to turn your PA on and off when there's a call. So you can do that. USB programming port and then the lights that all indicate different things. So that's what you get in the box. This is a two-tone decoder, station alert controller. DTMF decoder and these are available for sale from 911systemsllc.com. Go to our website and check them out. Let me know if you have any questions.